an extremely low recidivism rate. They're out in the communities, they're doing well, whether that be working with somebody in a methadone clinic, whether it being with at-risk youth, um, working in transitional housing programs, they're really being able to utilize the skills that they learn through OMCP as not only just a job, but a career where they can give back. CP is my favorite because I see the biggest results. I think before when they apply for OMCP they think that they've reached that aha moment and they've made their transformation but they really haven't and when they get here they really turn um, into something different. The, the person I was back then was someone that was just so full of like anger and shame and, and just hatred and hurt. I didn't see myself living another five or 10 years. I, I was at a point where I was on a self-destructive path and I was okay with it. And to think now that I'm someone that could, people could call on for help is pretty amazing. I just got my college degree and this feels even bigger than that. This is probably the biggest accomplishment of my life. Actually it is. It goes out to the visiting room. Like when you see people interacting with their families out there, there's some people that I never used to see get visits, but I see them a couple years later and I've noticed their journeys as well as they've been working on themselves. And now I see them out there reconnecting with their families as well and their kids are coming back around and you can, you can feel the atmosphere has been changing. And I think it all really starts with programs like this that get people to change themselves first and it, has an effect that ripples outward. My brother is going to come visit me in the graduation. It's been nine years since I've seen him. I think it's going to it's going to mean everything. Like this is my twin brother.